the Congolese army is sending in reinforcements. It's been fighting the rebels for almost a month now. The army is advancing, taking back villages like Jomba. The heavy artillery you can hear right there in the distance is being used by Congolese government forces against the M23 rebels. They are telling us that the rebels are just beyond those hills in the distance and they're trying to push them back further into the national park. Two months ago, the rebels were themselves soldiers in the Congolese army. They rebelled because they feared losing their privileged positions given to them under a peace deal. When that armed group was integ integrated in 2009, it was able to maintain a very strong parallel chain of command here in the Eastern Congo that was not um, acceptable really to many Congolese army officers. So it was a peace deal that was bound to collapse sooner or later. The National Army is made up of many former rebel groups. Its soldiers are poorly paid and equipped. Human rights groups have accused them of terrorizing their own people. For these Congolese refugees in Rwanda, they are as bad as the rebels. They are the reason why we fled. They offer us no protection. They are failing to keep the peace. The United Nations has a mandate here to protect civilians. It's trusted by the people. But it doesn't have enough resources or peacekeepers. And peace right now is not in the interests of the Congolese army. Recent negotiations in Rwanda failed to achieve anything. Leaders in Kinshasa want to defeat the rebels. It'll help unite this fragmented army and give them power over this crucial eastern region. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Jomba, Eastern Congo.